This summer, every district in the state will offer learning camps for elementary and middle school students. They target students who need help catching up in class, but they're open to almost all students and they're free. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan shows us the mission of those summer camps and how to decide if they're right for your family. At Alcoa City Schools, everybody, it's wide open. Director Rebecca Stone wants everyone to sign up, though teachers will target some students testing below grade level. There are some students that we will strongly suggest. The legislature mandates every district hold a free summer program this year, designed to combat learning loss, particularly in math and reading. Especially for those students who are going to be in some sort of child care anyway for those working parents, this is a great alternative. Each school system will decide who qualifies. In Knox, for example, three quarters of elementary and middle schoolers can enroll, but it's not mandatory. There is a concern that, that parents may not take advantage of this. The CEO of the Tennessee Valley Boys and Girls Club says he's worried the message may not get to the parents of the kids who need it the most. Of the 25% of Tennessee third graders worst at reading, the state says three quarters came from low income families. These programs that are being offered this summer uh, are important. For, for the future uh, of kids to make up uh, what they've lost over the last 12 months and what maybe wasn't even in place before then. Still, it might not be right for everyone. Some parents may say, my kid just needs a break, and we definitely want them to have a break. Even outside the classroom, education should not stop just because it's summer. Seek out opportunities where your kid can be actively engaged in learning. Reporting from Alcoa, I'm Cole Sullivan. In Knox County, parents of students who qualify for the summer programs have already been notified. On Monday, the district will send an enrollment link through the email. Almost two years.